Mercury may look cool, but mercury spills can be dangerous. If spills are not cleaned up right and right away, they can leave mercury lingering for months. Spilled mercury gives off vapors that you can't see under regular lighting. You can't smell the vapors either, but breathing the vapors can cause mercury to build up in your blood and brain, possibly causing permanent damage. Young children and pregnant women are at more health risk, but anyone can be harmed by mercury. Spilled mercury can be hard to see with the naked eye. Here, liquid mercury dropped from only one foot high breaks apart on impact, scattering beads all over. Even viewed against dark plastic and with bright light, the tiniest beads of mercury can be difficult to spot. This broken thermometer shows how difficult it can be to see mercury beads. Pliers were used to control the breaking of the glass. Imagine shaking down a thermometer and hitting it on a countertop. Glass and mercury would scatter across a large area. When mercury comes into contact with the air, it gives off vapor that is invisible under regular lighting. Here, a small amount of mercury is poured into a dish and covered. Under ultraviolet light, you can see the vapor given off by the mercury when the cover is removed. Disturbing the air, such as walking around in the room, causes the vapors to rise and spread. This makes it more likely that you'll breathe them in. So what should you do if you break a mercury thermometer or an old thermostat or something else that has mercury in it? Here are some easy steps to start with. First, do not vacuum. That will make a bad situation worse. Get people and pets out of the room so the mercury beads do not get spread around. Lower the room temperature, open a window or door to the outdoors if you can. Also, close all air vents, returns, and registers in the room. Cover the spill area with plastic. That will keep the vapors from getting into the air. Then, close off the room if you can. At this point, you may be able to clean up the mercury spill yourself. Call your local health department for advice. Now we'll get into more detail about mercury spills. Here the mercury is poured out of the dish. The dish looks clean to the naked eye but under ultraviolet light, we see vapors still entering the air. Anything used to clean up a mercury spill becomes contaminated with mercury. Here, a paper towel is used to wipe out the empty dish. Under the ultraviolet light, we see the towel and the dish continue to give off mercury vapor. Note that a paper towel does not soak up mercury, but just breaks it into smaller beads, making it harder to clean up. When cleaning up mercury on a hard surface, get some stiff paper or plastic cards, sticky tape, and a sealable plastic bag or jar. Take off all your hand jewelry and your watch. Put on plastic gloves if you have them. If not, using your bare hands is fine. You will not absorb the mercury through your skin. Use the stiff cards to gather the beads together and scoop them up placing the beads into the plastic container. Use the tape to pick up the beads you can't get with the cards. Remember to put anything used to clean up the mercury into the plastic container. Spills on carpet must be treated with extra care. Here, a few beads of mercury, about as much as contained in a fever thermometer, are on a square of carpet. The carpet gives off vapors as expected. Trying to scrape up the mercury with cards only presses the mercury deeper into the carpet and spreads it into a larger area. Under the ultraviolet light, we now see more vapors. Even the pad underneath the carpet is contaminated with mercury. Vacuuming mercury spills on carpet is a big mistake. Vacuuming does not remove the mercury. Instead, mercury clings to the metal parts in the vacuum and contaminates them. Further use of a vacuum that has been used on a mercury spill will spread mercury vapor throughout the house. The only way to take care of a mercury spill on carpet is to remove the carpet and dispose of it properly. When you think you're done cleaning up a mercury spill, it's a good idea to have the air in your home checked to be sure there are no vapors left that could harm you or your family. Call your local health department to ask how to get this done. As we've seen, mercury gives off hidden vapors when it comes into contact with the air. Children and pregnant women are most likely to be harmed by mercury. Anything that is contaminated with mercury continues to give off vapors. Turn off the air conditioning or the heat while cleaning up a mercury spill. Closing off of a spill area and venting a room to the outdoors is important to get rid of mercury vapors. Do not vacuum up mercury. Vacuuming will spread the mercury and ruin the vacuum cleaner. Don't wait for a mercury spill to happen. 
Take all your mercury-containing items, such as your old thermometers and thermostats, to your local hazardous household waste center as soon as possible. Or call your local health department to find out where to get rid of them. Save yourself the time, expense, and danger of a mercury spill. More information about mercury, including cleanup instructions, can be found at www.michigan.gov mercury.